Welcome. Today's experiment is K means clustering. So we need to give the value for plus, uh, K value and K number of clusters uh, segments we can get. So first get the centroid midpoint. Centroid is the midpoint of the cluster. So according to that divide into groups. So if we need two groups K is equal to two. So that will be two centroids and two separate clusters groups. Grouping the instances based on their similarities without the help of class label. So it's unsupervised method where we don't have a class label. In k-means clustering, let the data points be x1, x2 up to xn. k-means partitions the given data into k number of clusters. Each cluster has a cluster centroid. k is the number of clusters given by the user only. The algorithm randomly choose the k centroid. Assign each data point to the closest centroid by calculating the distance. So for example, we have all the data points here divided into uh, two uh, uh, assign two centroids. So randomly we will have a centroid somewhere here and somewhere here and each data point uh, gets joined as uh, gets uh, joined with any one of the cluster based on the distance. Any distance can be used. Here we use Manhattan distance. Uh, distance formula is x mod x i1 minus x j i holds plus mod x i2 minus mod minus x j2. Uh, so recompute the centroid values in step 4. If convergence criterion is not met, go to step 2. So same way uh, after after we group the data points first randomly, we have chosen two, plus two, data, two clusters. And then each data point gets assigned to any one of the clusters. Then from within this cluster, find the uh, new centroid point for both the clusters again recompute the distance and this continues till the uh, stopping criterion is met stopping criterion is the centroid point should not change there should be very minimum or no reassignment of data points to the clusters so that is the stopping criterion after that the cl clustering work is done uh, program uh, sends centroid dial distance in the level function f for the data points k is the number of clusters size of f1 comma 1 are the randomly uh, centroid assigned k plus 1 is the label k plus 2 is the minimum distance for i equal to 1 to this one randomly assigned clusters da will find the distance value and recompute the clusters we we'll go for the scilab program so we have the uh, k means function here the inputs are f k and kmi First compute the cluster centroids. Centroid is f of seal and rand k comma 1 into size of f comma 1. Uh, rand is generating random numbers. Sealing is rounding it off. Dal equal to zeros of the number of data points. For n equal to 1 to the data points value. For i equal to 1 to size of the cluster. For j equal to 1 to k the distance value is norm of f minus cents. Manhattan distance is used and the distance actual distance is the minimum DAL value uh, DAL of I comma K plus 1 is the uh, K plus 1 is the cluster label K plus 2 is the minimum distance for I equal to 1 to K uh, NC equal to find is none sense so if sense F is equal to radii of so first we need to run this program we don't get any output in the uh, console screen just it is run after that go for the main program so in the main program sigma values the data point values are given f1 random values are chosen f2 f3 and f4 random values are chosen f equal to f1 figure plot the random values initially with red color and dot feature vector is f number of clusters we have given k equal to 4 so we are going to get four separate clusters Number of maximum iterations is 40. Cluster centers comma data is km fun. We call the function and the input values are the input feature vector. Number of clusters in this example 4 and number of iterations in this example it is 40. And display the cluster centers in the console screen. And then plot the values of the feature vectors in different colors. So to uh, here auto clear off off off. Uh, here first first cluster with B and uh, round, R and round, green and round, yellow and round. So we are going to get four separate clusters and plot all that. So when we run the program, uh, these are the initial random data points. 
and these black ones are the centroids and we get four separate clusters based on distance metric. Thank you.